Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this particular session, I'll talk about that what are the key skills or the subjects which are required to focus to become a data scientist. Now, uh, as you all must be aware of that I have completed my master's from IIT Hyderabad. So whatsoever experience I do have and whatsoever key skills which I have learned from my education and then afterwards coming towards facing so many interviews on, on this particular data scientist position, whatever I have observed, I'll share with you all and whatever things help me a lot. So the very first thing which I have written here, you can clearly see is the metrics theory. Maths play a very important role whenever we are going for any data science domain. Why is that so? Because the algorithms that we will study inside this particular domain, for example, in machine learning, we do have a supervised and unsupervised machine learning algorithms. In deep learning, we do have a lot of architectures which are CNN based and then known CNN based as well. So basically what is happening is that internally you will observe that in every particular algorithm, mathematics is playing a very important role. To understand that maths, you mainly require an understanding of matrix theory, probability and the statistics. These three, I would say, are the very, very important subjects that you should focus on whenever you are uh, planning to pursue uh, data science. So basically, when we're talking about matrix theory, why is that required? Because whenever you are dealing with the images, specifically I'm talking about an example where suppose your data set is consists of a lot of images. At that point of time, what is happening is that whenever you are going for data modeling, so what is happening? your data will be converted into a set of pixels, which is in a way 2D array. Similarly, or maybe 3D array whenever you will deal. Similarly, uh, you are dealing with any kind of uh, machine learning algorithm where suppose you are dealing with, again, the dimensions, for example, NumPy, numerical uh, Python programming language, sorry, package is there, which we used to deal with. So. Here, there also, if you will see, a lot of matrix computations we used to do. And that's why you will be only able to understand all these computations if you are already having an awareness of matrix theory. Similarly, when we talk about probability, so again, for the algorithms, you should have an understanding. There is an algorithm called naive bias classifier. If you will observe there, all the Bayesian theorem that we do have in the conditional probability is applied there. That's an example which I want to give you so that you guys will be able to understand that yes, it's playing a very important role whenever we are dealing with data science domain. Apart from that, statistics. So stats play a very, very important role, I would say, because whenever you are dealing with any kind of data, you are dealing with the complete population or the sample, you should be aware about that. Then what is standard deviation? What is variance? Uh, what is distribution kind of things like skewed distribution, normal distribution, which is also known as Gaussian distribution, PDF, PMF, uh, MAE, MLE. So all these things are really important and you will get an idea about all those things only when you should have the knowledge of this statistics concept. Here in matrix theory, I have written this uh, Gilbert Strand lectures because this is one of the most useful lectures which I have found while I was doing these kind of things. Apart from these three things, so this is a complete mathematics portion which you should focus on. One is matrix theory, one is probability, another one is stats. Apart from that, DSA. DSA plays a very important role if suppose you are writing some sort of code, okay? and in that code, if suppose you want to optimize that, how will you optimize if you don't have the knowledge that what is the time and space complexity? How will you optimize if we don't know what different kind of data structures do we have? Okay, so in that sense, you should know what is DSA, what are the different kinds of data structures we have, what are the different kind of techniques of algorithms that we have. So that is again a very important thing that you should know. The Obviously, when you are uh, a data scientist, so no one is expecting from you to have a knowledge of very advanced levels as well, but it's good to have, but you should have at least the intermediate level of the knowledge and understanding of data structure algorithms. 
I have seen so many people uh, who are working in industry as well, but they don't have the knowledge of data structure algorithms. And then they don't know, like they are applying the loops, but there are so many loops that they are applying to implement the same thing. Obviously, the answer will come. Obviously, the output will come. But if you want to go for an optimization, at that point of time, this data structure algorithms plays a very important role. Let me again try to give you one simple example. Uh, you must have seen the KNN classifier or the KNN uh, regression, right? K nearest neighbor that we used to have in our machine learning, supervised machine learning technique. So that's a part of supervised machine learning algorithm. There, uh, I don't know that how many of my audience is aware about this concept, but there if you will see that uh, while doing KNN, we faced a lot of problem. There, on top of that, researchers did a did an optimization to perform a KD tree or ball tree. So these kind of optimizations, how researchers are doing. At that point of time, obviously in research, though you should have knowledge of higher level. But as a as a developer, if suppose you don't have that much enough knowledge also in extreme advanced level, but at least you should have the understanding that how basically this tree based data structure will work. Then only you will be appreciate that advancement done by the researchers, right? So uh, that's the major reason that why this DSA is pretty important to understand if suppose you want to become a good data scientist. After that, the foundations of machine learning. So there the complete concept of uh, uh, supervised and unsupervised machine learning algorithms with their model evaluation metric will come into picture. After you're done with that, there is a concept of natural language processing where we are dealing with all the textual kind of data. Uh, for example, sentiment analysis, for example, text summarization, for example, Google translation. So all these are the applications where we are dealing with the textual data and that is where this NLP is coming into picture. And apart from that, the deep learning. It's a very vast domain. So basically what is happening is that the complete AI is a broader circle that you can consider. Inside that we are having the uh, machine learning and inside machine learning also as a subset we are having that deep learning where complete neural network which is uh, like a human like brain the way we work the human neurons will work. Similarly researchers have obtained that neural network where the if you will go in much depth, you will see that how basically the kind of tasks that we were doing in classification and regression for machine learning, the same kind of task we can do in deep learning. But what's the major difference? It has been observed that when we increase the data, at one point of time, those machine learning algorithms are not performing pretty well. At that point of time, who is the rescue? This deep learning is the rescue, which performed a lot of better optimizations and generate a very good results as comparable to the other uh, machine learning algorithms. So these are the kind of concepts which you should be aware of. Here, if you will see these subjects, which I have written here are the subjects of my masters. So the curriculum, the way they have uh, uh, designed is pretty well, and that's why you, you don't believe me that those companies, whatsoever companies uh, came and they took an interview for me because I have already the knowledge of all these subjects. I would be easily able to answer all of these questions, whatever they have asked to me. So the knowledge of this concepts is pretty much important. If you want to crack any good product based companies, apart from that, if you will uh, do the implementation of the projects at that point of time also you will appreciate if you will have all these concepts knowledge. So with this I would like to end this particular session. If suppose you have any sort of doubt with whatsoever subjects I have written here and if, if suppose you want to add something on top of that or if you if you want to uh, give some suggestion or tip to uh, basically how I can do more advancement on my channel whatever you want to listen uh, whatsoever feedbacks you do have please do write in the comment section. I used to read all the comments. And with this, I would like to end this particular session. Uh, do like, share and subscribe to all of your friends who are in need of all these kind of knowledge which I am sharing on my YouTube channel. And bye-bye uh, everyone. See you soon in the next upcoming session.